Greetings and hello everyone and you. Thank you for joining me here. We've got a lot of new things to talk about this week as we often find ourselves doing. And uh, yeah, well, it's no exception. We're gonna start off today by covering some new Lamy stuff and some new 2000s. Yes, what? New 2000s? There's no such thing as a new 2000. Yeah, there's kind of not, but they're new to us. So we're going to talk about two additional Lamy 2000 writing utensils. I wanted to say pens. One of them's a pen. This one is a pen. We're going to talk about a Lamy 2000 rollerball. And that's right, we're carrying a rollerball. And here it is. It looks almost exactly like the Lamy 2000 fountain pen, but it's not. Look, it's a rollerball. I wasn't kidding. So essentially, same profile as the Lamy 2000, same polycarbonate body, same stainless steel spring-loaded cap uh, clip. And then um, one little difference, it does have a small little dimple here in the uh, top of the cap, so you can differentiate between the two. But um, when you unscrew the back here, instead of a piston being operated, it reveals the ink refill. This pen takes a Lamy M63 refill, which we will be selling separately in a variety of colors. And uh, the way we saw it, this was an already super popular pen. Why not allow folks to choose to buy it in rollerball form for when there are those few, few, few times where fountain pen isn't the right choice? Either way, it's available now. Check it out. And if you wanted something even more different, we've got a mechanical pencil. We have two for sale now, this one being the uh, 0.5, wait, that's not where it goes. It comes out this way, just poked a hole in it. Uh, this one being the point, oh no, sorry, this is the seven. So the uh, 0.7 lead is here. You can notice because it says seven, the five will have a five here on the back. I forgot to tell you, the rollerball that we just spoke about is $103. So significantly less expensive than the fountain pen and the mechanical pencil is even less expensive at just $55.20. So we will also be selling the lead here. Uh, these uh, lead refills are $4.25, both the same price regardless of which size you get. So again, you've got that signature stainless steel spring-loaded clip, and then you've got a uh, small pipe here that ejects the lead, and then the uh, plunger removes to reveal the eraser and the refill chamber. So pretty standard operation in terms of what I have often seen fountain, uh, sorry, I just keep wanting to say fountain pens. Pretty standard operation from what I have come to learn from the few mechanical pencils I've used in my life. But uh, if you're a fan of the shape, form factor, and historical significance of the Lamy 2000 design, they are now available to you in multitudinous writing instruments. So, 2000, there you go. Let's move on. This one is interesting. The Montegrappa Wild Explorer Arctic. So this bad boy is $990. It is a collaboration between Montegrappa and Project Wild, which I don't know a ton about, but Look at that, that is a beautiful box there. I do know that uh, Project Wild is responsible for some very stunning wildlife photography, and I believe we will get to see some of that in this box. So first off, we've got the pen itself. We're gonna set that aside and take a look at what else we have going on here. Two ink cartridges, a polishing cloth. Raising this up, we will reveal beautiful. Oh wow, look at this. So we've got some beautiful postcards with some stunning wildlife photography on there. These are really glossy too, not, yeah, this is, this is really beautiful stuff. So yeah, this is, um, now this is a snowy owl heel. Ah, snowy owl here is the inspiration for the clip of this pen, which you can see is a large stainless steel feather. We'll open this up and take a look at that. So, here we have the snowy owl feather. Very interesting clip. Definitely not something you see every day here. The uh, pen itself is made from a Montegrappite, which is their proprietary resin that is poured um, exclusively for them. 
and then you'll have the uh, Wild Explorer finial there. Very intricate laser etching. And then the clip itself has a nice spring to it. And then, let's see, I believe we're looking at some, some uh, I'm not sure if that's like a zebra pattern or a wood grain pattern, but there's a pattern, there's a texture etched into the trim ring there. And then we've got the gold nib and a grip section that matches the cap and the, uh, the back part of the barrel there. So it's a very pretty pen. It's a cartridge converter pen. Very nice threads. Look at that, they just spin right on. I'm not going to try to tell you all about the history between the collaboration of Monte Grappa and Project Wild, but there's a lot of information on the product page, so I do encourage you to go and check that out. And then we've got this, look at this. This is a really fascinating binding, not something you see every day in your average fountain pen instruction manual. But then, oh my goodness, look at this. More glossy photography. And then some pen shots. So very interesting collaboration. Perhaps we'll see more. This is the Arctic version, so um, we might be seeing more geographical locations coming our way. But for now, Arctic is here. It is available for purchase should you desire to add it to your collection. All right, we're going to do some fun stuff now. We're going to actually write. This is the first time I've ever done this in one of these videos. But the next pen we're going to talk about, you kind of need to see it. So. I'm talking about this pen. This is the Esterbrook SD in the Botanical Garden resin. It is a really lovely flecked resin. Don't mind the tape here. That actually says Techo on it, but we'll get to that in a second. It's a lovely, lovely resin. A lot of really great colors working together here. So this is a new pen. But one of the reasons we said absolutely yes to this pen is that it comes with nibs ground by individual nib specialists that are very well known within the fountain, uh, fountain pen community as you know being very very talented and I've used their nibs firsthand and I agree. So this first nib is called the Techo nib and this is made by our friend over at Tokyo Station Pens CY. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just dip some of these because they're not inked up. Happen to find some private reserve electric DC blue lying around and one thing that's great about these gigantic private reserve bottles is for dipping, you know, you don't even need to look where you're dipping. You can just, you know, assume that you're going to go inside the bottle because uh, they're gigantic. So the Techo nib has a variable sort of nib. If you write with a low angle, you get wider strokes. If you raise it up and do that, you get thinner strokes. So you could really, God, it looks terrible. Uh, you could really have some fun with this one. Yeah, so you could play around with that, have a lot of fun. I always love nibs that can give you a couple different writing, you know, uh, widths in one nib. So this one's a lot of fun. And it takes a lot of work to get something like this. So uh, it's not every day you get to pick up a pen that A, someone has done a lot of handwork on the nib, and B, gives you kind of, you know, several nibs in one. So good job, CY. All right, next up is the Journaler nib by the delightful Gina Salarino. And this started off as a medium nib, but Gina has ground it to a uh, nice sharp stub that will give you really crisp, downstrokes and side strokes at different widths. So thick down and really thin side strokes. Again, you've got two in one here and it makes it a lot of fun to write with. You can write down like, like beneath the page so that your down strokes are nice and thick and your side strokes are really thin. Or if you're a side rider, then that's fine too. Your side strokes are gonna be wider and your down strokes are gonna be thinner. Either way, it's a fun nib. Gene is awesome. This is enjoyable. All right, next up is the Needlepoint nib by Kirk Spear. And I love Kirk, but I have actually never written with one of his Needlepoint. So this is actually my first time with this nib, 
but I do know that this is his thing. He is known for the needlepoint nib, so you're with me now, going to experience this for the first time. Let's see. I really like this. This is just as good as I thought it would be. But you do hear it, but it's not scratchy. You're writing with a very, very sharp, pointy piece of metal, so you're going to feel it a little bit. But the line is consistent, the flow is great. This is a delightful experience, which is no surprise. Kirk knows what he's doing. And then finally, my buddy Josh Lax has created the Scribe nib that Esterbrook has on these pens. And this is a modified architect nib, which will provide you with a uh, thin downstroke and then a wider cross stroke. So this is kind of the opposite of what Gina's journaler nib is, where hers was wide down, thin across. The modified architect of the scribe nib is going to be the opposite. My favorite thing about these nibs, though, is not the actual line width, it's the flow. These nib specialists know how to not only grind the tipping material so that it produces a fun and exciting stroke on the page, but they know how to make sure that it is tuned perfectly so that it just writes every time. And I've written with a lot of pens, and I've kind of come to grips with the fact that they're not all perfect. I'm just making peace with that. But when I write with a pen that a professional has just made perfect, it's just real nice. <laughs> it's just real nice. So I'm excited about these. They are not the most plentiful of products because these are being handmade. Uh, well, the pens are not being handmade, but the, the nibs are being hand ground, hand tuned, hand cared for. Uh, by these nib technicians and uh, they pay attention to what they're doing. So these aren't always going to be just in endless supply. Uh, we are going to be reordering them at the time of this recording. A couple are already sold out, but we are going to try to get as many as we can because they're awesome. We love them and we hope you do too. So if you don't see them available right now, sign up for the notification list and we will e email you as soon as they're back in stock. Also worth getting excited about is a new Pilot Pen, a new model of Pilot Pen to the United States, and that is the Pilot Custom 743. The 743 is essentially the same as the Pilot 823 in terms of overall shape. The nib size is the same, but instead of it being a vacuum filling pen, it is in fact a cartridge converter pen. Same price though. It is only available in black with gold hardware, and you might think that that is a drawback. And I mean, sure, it, we'd rather have it in multiple colors, but there's a lot more going on for this pen than just what's on the outside. They have a ton of different nibs and some unique nibs at that. You're going to get your extra fine, your fine, your medium, your broad, but then we've got two bonus super fun nibs on top of that that I am going to demonstrate now. Uh, we've got all of these on our Nib Nook comparison tool in the resources tab of our web website. So you can check that out and see them all side by side. And I'll also put an image up right here. Boop, boop to show you all the differences, and I'll show you again later as well. But right now, I wanna check out the double broad. There it is, the double broad. And there's a lot of tipping material on this thing. Wow, that is a beefy nib. Let me bring out just uh, let me bring out the extra fine, just so that we can get a really good comparison. Well, no, let's do the broad. I'm just gonna put broad right beneath here so you can see what the difference is. Okay, so noticeable. So if you want a vehicle that's just going to use up a bunch of your ink, and if you've got an ink that actually has some really exciting properties to it, and you really want to just put a ton of it on the paper, double broad, <laughs> we'll get it done. Ooh, screwed that up. Whatever. That is quite different. 
But you know what? I'm an extra fine fan and I really, really love this. This extra fine is so smooth. Such a fine line with such a smooth stroke as well, because, you know, that's really hard to achieve. Pilot, though, they know how to do it. All right, now the nib, where is it? <laughs> Here we go. The nib I'm most excited about is the FA, which stands for Falcon. Um, you will find a Falcon nib on the actual Pilot Falcon, um, and you will also find a nib that says FA on it on the Custom 912. That nib is not exactly the same as what's on the Pilot Falcon, and uh, neither is this nib, because this one is bigger than both of them. Anyway, they call it the Falcon nib. This is very similar in shape to what you'll find on the 912, but like I mentioned before, this is the same size nib that is on the uh, Pilot Custom 823. So you've got these interesting little cutouts here on the side, and this will provide you a little bit of balance while you're riding and some line variation. So let's test this out. That is delightful. That's a fun nib. So you can see it bouncing. If you wanted to not put any pressure on it at all, you've got a relatively fine line. And then if you did want to pull it down a little bit harder, you've got a much thicker line. If you just wanted to write like normal and then just kind of do something crazy underneath, like you, the world is your oyster, you can do whatever you want with this pen. And because it is gold, it has a nice bounce. It's very comfortable to write with. Even if you didn't want to use any line variation, if you just wanted to write very softly and have a bit of a springiness to your writing experience, a very comfortable, bouncy writing experience, this pen is great for that. That's a fun experience. Now, you don't wanna to go too fast. You don't wanna to flex too hard because it's not meant to be overstressed for sure. You certainly can exceed the limits of this pen and you'll get railroading where you know your lines are separate instead of full. But overall, it's a really, really fun writing experience and um, all of these nibs are going to write phenomenally because it's Pilot and they know how to do excellent nibs, very consistent writing experiences across the board of their writing instruments from you know, the $14 pen all the way up until the $10,000 pen. So Pilot's gonna do Pilot things and we're all here for it, aren't we? So that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me as always. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer or you can go to the website where we have a ton of additional information and some lovely, lovely pictures as always. Have a great time.